Today's Five Things You Need to Know is brought to you by Power Credit Union, proudly serving Southern Colorado. I'm Rob Quirk, a man fighting for his life following an early morning explosion in Trinidad. Police tell us Diego Hurtado walking through a parking lot found a package. He opened it, exploded, he suffered catastrophic injuries to his hand and head injuries as well. If you can help, contact Trinidad Police. Fourth person has died after a murder suicide here in Stratmore Hills last week. It happened on Loomis Avenue north of Fort Carson. At the time, three people found dead, a fourth transported to the hospital. We've learned that person has now died of the injuries. It's being investigated investigated as a domestic violence incident. No names have been released yet. The man who was shot to death at a Springs apartment complex Friday ID tonight is 44 year old John Richard Roth. Second person also shot taken to the hospital. Serious injuries. This is the second homicide in the Springs this year. We had three at this time last year. Welcome news for fans of the Pikes Peak Hill climb. The decision has been made to allow spectators along the course this year. Fans not allowed on Pikes Peak last year due to COVID. Race organizers say within seven spectator areas along the route, plenty of room for people to social distance. Time for a weather check. Let's check in with Mike Daniels. Thanks, Rob. A huge pattern change around here later in the week. Here's what's going to happen. A cold Arctic front is going to bank up against the lee side of the mountains. What that'll do is bring in much colder air around here. Going to see an upslope flow that'll also squeeze out snow flurries. So be prepared for huge changes. They got a taste of that Arctic air off to the northeast of us today. These are afternoon high temperatures. Fargo, Duluth and Great Falls, Montana with afternoon high temperatures well below the zero mark in Colorado Springs. Enjoy the next few days because we're going to get that Arctic air in here on Friday. It'll stay through the weekend. Not a big fall of snow, but flurries and much colder air. The main message with that forecast. Thank you for listening to today's five things you need to know sponsored by Power Credit Union.